anymore. They have the Forza yep. for the, uh, one of the core damages as, aside from the Ling. And, the, oh. and you know, it, it's all well, like the Oh, this Hellcrit is I what like makes it. things interesting. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Forza doesn't feel safe anymore. And Dark Knight Falls will always stop that feathered airstrike from China Ling. And I, I have to say, I'm still gonna go with the feeling that this is gonna go all three games. I like the lineup as GD. I'm gonna run at you. PNK is a hero. This that's uh, game. If you think about it, but it still is a weak link. What I'm trying to say is, if they f see oh, through what had GZ's rotation will be and shut him down from the get go, yeah, I think that Sun Sparks will avert the potential doom. That being said, I think this is a much, much closer game as compared to game number one. As SGD Omega have already, already showed us their guns and they will be back to what works. And it's interesting, we're seeing another iteration of Popol and Koopa here with the Purify and at the same time High and Dry being locked in. And it looks like we saw an attempt of what Sun Sparks were trying to do. We saw now Haze actually first trying to steal blood. that orange buff. But it looks like we're going to get a first blood already and going to be a trade back, kill. Back. He's going to be chasing after the flash of that ejector is perfect. And they are able to secure the kill. That's going to be two kills already in favor of SGD. And Sun Sparks now still trying to secure their boss, but SGD now here for the invade. They are able to secure it there on their link, so no worries there for Sunsparks, but definitely SGD trying to do what Sunsparks did in game number one. But right now, Sunsparks yeah. reading through that since they did run it, they were like, you know what, we, can, we know how to counter and stay safe against that, but he's definitely not safe right now. To steal the blue buff, and I think that is uh, the, the bigger problem that they had to face. And now this game, man, I, Creed as well as Rafflesia, they're just so good at controlling. I mean, this is the championship go from man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just so amazed how masterful Rafflesia is with this hero. Mm -hmm. And like, this, this guy's a hero of mine as well. Like, if Rafflesia's hero is go from my Rafflesia, man. Like, I as a pain, how this guy plays the Kufra is just to behold. He's right now using the power of nature to try to insert the points back. But that was for a split, leaving Totem Fushikopa just desperately out there in the open. Hayes dealing a lot of damage with power. Try to finish off Hayes. They do, but he does find the safety of the tower. SGD, meanwhile, good response here. Thing here in the bottom lane. And when you see moments like these, it just goes to show just how well these teams move around because they're on the same page. That being said, they're not completely on the same page in terms of the resources because of the kill advantage. And they've just had the better control of the map so far. One of the key here for Sun Sparks definitely is to oh. just give those here a really hard time with that Popol and Koopa. Kilowatch gonna catch out A's. Forcing the power of nature once again to just get Sun Sparks afraid so that he doesn't get chased. Sun Sparks now trying to get a steal here on the orange buff. Oh. Could be a clasher. That's a defensive ejector. He's in trouble. He's just level four at this moment. But fortunately for SGD Omega, with all of the ultimates that they committed and all of the resources they did, there's good news. They were able to get their red buff. So at least for the for the coming two minutes, GZ will be happy. But they'll be, they be happy of what could entail from now. The turtle now being forced by Sun Sparks. Nice Guardian's barrier, but he's taking so much damage. There's the takedown. Link takes him out. Turtle, who's gonna be the one to take it? It's the Link. Now onto the back lines. There's a thousand in the corner and in front of the kill on the Kofra. But the rest of SGD Omega, they have to run. Now in comes Kel VJ. He will have to be stopped here. Kel VJ might have overstepped his bounds. Able to run away. The damage from GZ though. Drops the hammer. The claw. They will chase Kilowash, but JB is in town. Stops Hat GC from advancing and dodges some of the deadly poison stingers, but there's the ultimate. Hat GZ. Now they bite. I think the panel was talking about this. The fans of SGD Omega. Oh man, they hurt. <laughs> More burst damage back over and over again. Come here, Hat GZ. Oh, Jesus. What is happening right now? And I don't want to point out here that Hellcrit pick, I personally liked it because in the past few days here in the MPL, we've seen just how game-changing uh, Hellcrit pick has been. And I feel like in this lineup with their with that they're up against, uh, they're going to be up against a Farsa and 
South Park right now, they've been they've been stacking up more frequently than I would like in their team fights. Kel VJ Kilowash and Reflesha all getting really close and personal. Social distancing is the key right now. And how Jeezy with those poison stingers, you don't want to do that, man. You're just gonna get bursted over and over again. That's what we've been seeing, and that's really not good. Three one three already. You're gonna give three kills to a Hellcurt with a bounty under, man. You're just begging for trouble in the long run. However, Sun Spark still have control of the resources here. Their uh, JP Sling has definitely not starving compared to the Ling of AGD Omega earlier. So this is still anyone's ball game. This really depends yeah. on who wins the next team fight or who gets a crucial pickoff, which we might see here with Kilowash. They use Dark Knight Falls, but look at Reflesha, the tank, saving Kilowash. But Kilowash just like he decided to stay and just help out Reflesha even. Is that enough time here for Sunspark to turn to around? Here comes Cal DJ with the assist of that. Push coming in. SS are somehow turning this around, but they aren't able to secure a kill. SGD Omega, however, do secure a kill on Reflesha's Kufra. Okay, that was really, really close, but I think SGD Omega are fine with that trade, and surely they committed a lot. The only thing that's bad from what happened is that they are so low that they had to concede this turtle buff, and Sunspark says, okay, Raflesha, do your thing. I mean, you're four deaths right now, but in no way are you a feeder, is what you're doing. Is so much valuable for the team. I mean, saving Kilowash then was the strongest man or the far most farm hero on the side of Sunsparks. Now, onto the buffs actually being secured by Sunsparks, but they will have to concede their middle turret. It, that's a trade that they are willing to give, and uh, unfortunately for Sunsparks, it's not the most economical um, trade that they can have, but they'll take it anyways. Bottom lane, KelvyJ is here. Not a chance, I think, to take down Genji. Especially when Kenji is stuck behind his uh, turret so safely. So now Sunsparks, I think that it is safe to say that this is still anyone's ball game. It's looking good as a, a way for us to like see game 3. As now this time, alright, Greed is here. LVJ will not get the kill, however, Reptar. Look at that face with Dark Knight Falls coming in. Looks like they might be able to cash off Kel VJ here. How GZ decides against it. Afraid and probably sensing that JP was there. JP does go in for the dive, but Hayes able to take him back. And of course, JP just playing it cautiously. Meanwhile, the middle lane. Toji has to be careful. Kufra is there nearby. A good Tyrant's Revenge might just mess up this Bubble and Koopa real badly. But he sends Koopa forward uh, just to do a quick face check. And of course, Bubble and Koopa getting back as well. We're seeing a lot of caution from both these two teams both just trying to see who's gonna bite first looks like no one's biting just yet let's see if they are gonna finally see a JP gets caught out SGD Omega trying to go in for a finish Kilowash really tanky still somehow surviving through all of that not even using Cod Rent Inferno so once again another stalemate still anyone's game the team just waiting to see for that perfect opportunity that bite coming in from Kuma the dogs chasing it but Hayes takes a lot of damage and the perfect position there for Flesha stopping SGD in their tracks thinking twice about moving forward and with this third kill here we might see a, either a steal or a big clash with the two fighters there in the bot lane. They jump in for Reflesha but that's not like the most uh, optimal way and I think Reed is actually doing a great job with the Farsa still uh, only dying once and Spreader Airstrike's usage are actually so safe but the Grok why is he there? That's the question. On the right side, the skill of watch Kenji in the middle of the best GD Omega far too separate than what the dump from Revisha catching on to three. He will try to punish him under the turret. Actually, Hilker is not able to survive. Thames will take him down onto the back lines. It's Kill VJ with the lead going for Toshi and they take him down long range. Melee attack. I can't believe I just said that, but that's exactly what happened in there. <laughs> a long range melee attack. And that is what, I guess that's a good way to see what some of the uh, heroes that Sunsparks brought to the table here can do. And I feel like this is a, a lot of the control that Sunsparks has been able to muster away from SGD Omega uh, is coming from Reflesha's play right now. Yes, he has four deaths, but I feel like that pickup Using attack and defense in this kind of lineup uh, was a really was a really great decision. Just to get a little bit more damage that you can get out of that Kufra, and that's been messing up SGD Omega a great deal. 
And right now it's SGD Omega from what was an even ball game. They're now on the back foot. They go in for the steal of the orange ball. SGD Omega getting caught out here. But it looks like it's JP who dove in a little bit too deep using that tyrant. Uh, using that last insanity. Speaking of getting caught out, Reflesha trying to get that perfect set with the tyrant's rage. Not able to get it. He does get taken out. Hayes now on the run. Oh my goodness, what was supposed to be a kill on Greed was Greed using wings by wings. Able to get out of there. A good save there by Sun Sparks though. Keeping Greed alive. SGD Omega. I have to feel really happy though about what just transpired because now they have a bit of advantage here in the Lord pit. Hayes is just going back to recall real quick. If they can get a kill on Killawash here, the Lord is going to be secured for them definitely for sure. Koopa goes in for the stun and the bite, but still not enough bite from that dog. Too much bark because they aren't able to take out Killawash. SGD Omega now have Lord, positional advantage over this Lord pit. <sighs> This game just keeps on giving, right? I mean, Sun Sparks mm -hmm. had a clear victory, but SGD Omega says, okay. Yeah, these guys are always trying to take our reds and our blues. But Sun Sparks, I mean, they, they were successful in game number one. This time, though, SGD Omega learned their lesson. Kilowash immediately pops the counter in front of the first sign of trouble. That means that he will survive this even when SGD Omega started the attack. Finally, will he fall? Still surviving for now, but the Hellguard from the back lines down for the count. Tabs is next to go down, as well as the link. Rafnisha with a very precarious flicker, but he will survive for now. Oh, as I say that, though, SGD Omega... This separated, this fight actually, they started it and it looked wonderful for Sun Sparks, but they say, okay, we're gonna take the team fight and we will win it. I think SGD Omega capitalized on the fact that Sun Sparks was far too separated from each other. Yeah, they played that space uh, space mismatch off really well. Speaking of mismatch, Cho might be mismatch. Uh, miss here. <laughs> but he's still somehow getting away. Look at that. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. With a sticker here. I use my what a move there by Kill VJ. He's still alive. I thought he was done for. Dude, I gotta admit, like on my end, my stream lagged. That's how good Kill VJ's mo movement was. One second he was dead, one second he wasn't. Man, crazy. Now you see me there by that show. Yeah, yeah, really. He, he, imagine a, uh, imagine uh, Alan Iverson he crossed over them all. Right. Yeah. And he was able to. Uh, <laughs> Nevertheless, that's gonna be, I think, the enhanced lord at 12 minutes. Sun Sparks leading by 5k. Really, really uh, substantial amount of lead. Rafish attacking so much. Ops the ultimate just to survive this. Kenji, that has got the ultimate. We'll stick to the fire missiles this time. Thames, though, quite separated from his teammates. Already popped the ultimate. No, not yet. Still alive. He's actually tanking. All of the uh, of all of the PNKs damaged like a boss. While Kill VJ says, "Okay, do your thing there. I'm mm -hmm. gonna do my thing here. This top lane is mine and mine alone, and able to take out the turret up top." Looks like that was a bit of a bait play there, coming in from Sun Sparks. Yes, it was Reflesha who got caught, caught out, but maybe they went in for the dive and tried to make it look like they were forcing a fight. Or they were actually trying to force a fight just so it gave enough room for Kel VJ to push there in the top lane. SGD Omega. Kenji spotted, out, spotted it out actually, but he just spent so much time there in that fight that it just wasn't enough to defend that turret. And now that's going to make it harder for SGD Omega can, to make a comeback and take a control of this because now they have to worry about the push in the top lane. Yes, it's not super minions just yet, but, uh, but out of everyone in their uh, line up, it's going to be Exborg. It's going to be Kenji who's going to be on get back to the lane. Keep, uh, make sure that you clean up the way so we don't get push duty. And that's going to be really hard for SGT Omega because in that team fight, they are going to be highly dependent on that last insanity for the turnaround. And speaking of de depending on specific picks, uh, specific skills, I think SGT Omega will, will put a lot of value now with the last insanity that they have to take mm -hmm. care of Kiluash. Because this is the only way for them to take down Kilowash at this point. I mean, 13 minutes in, I'm sure there are more armor items for Kilowash now available, as well as damage. And Elkert might not be able to take him down. Actually, I like that ejector play from Heath. 
you know, just pushing away Kilowatch because you know he's the only one who can control him and he's able to run away. Could be a fight though in the middle. Heath with a ejector. In, in comes Kilowatch. Pass the counter in front of right at the get go. Parsons feather this strike. Not quite on the mark. He will actually be forced by Hayes and Kenji. It's going to be the jump from Rafflesha, but only to take out the, the Wolf. With all the things that have been thrown in this clash, nobody's dying. As both teams will respect each other, Reptar. Kenji taking a lot of damage, fight for another dare strike, but he doesn't have to worry. Just taking out the Faraga armor for just a bit, and that was a really big deal made. Because of just how, of where all each member of each team was just approaching from and where they were spaced out. It, every, no one could find a perfect catch, even a front row flusher right now couldn't get a perfect catch on Heath there with the Tyrant's Revenge, but with Sunspark starting this out and with it being mid-health, question is, will they reset this or will they continue? Looks like they're going for the reset because here comes SJD Omega, Kenji, one on one with Kel VJ there in the top lane, let's see who's going to win that fight, but back here in the middle lane though, SGD, once again, gets brought out of the pit and Sunspark was like, okay, we're going to try doing this again, oh, no, 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 we're not going to, we're not going to, we're good, we're good, yeah, we're not going to stay here, who's going to stay here? <laughs> We're leaving, uh, <laughs> but this is yeah. This is the big problem right now. Kenji just keeps getting forced back to the top lane, and honestly, even without the Joe, some sparks can win a four before here. But what is a big what? Big poison stingers coming in from SGD Omega, but still somehow G has that, and now it's SGD Omega paying for it because the feathered airstrike has just wiped out the health of members of SGD Omega. They are still alive though. Four members down. Some sparks now on the chase. Ah, Jeezy getting a lot of damage. Sunsparks applying the pressure. Hayes is there trying to find the perfect space to somehow stop the advance of Sunsparks. What a turnaround there by Sunsparks. Not a lot of casualties, but just enough. Send SGD Omega running back and away from the Lord Pit as Sunsparks secure it. Sunsparks may as well greet Rafflesh a happy Mother's Day because of how he took care of the rest of Sunsparks, man. Dude, GP had no right to survive that. He's dead to rights. But with the proper angle, he went through Haze and then back to to, to knock up the those the Hellcart as well as uh, Toshi. And able to let JP live. And there he go again. They want to go for Kenji this time. Bouncing ball. And chasing trouble. Jackie chasing him down. Takes him out. Now good job for the count. It's a Dark Knight Falls. Already popped, but it doesn't matter. Roughly shot once again to the back lines. Catching two. And they take out the second kill. Make it the third. As they high for the base. Sun Sparks 